You ever find yourself just dying for an octave fuzz? For me, that's whenever I'm listening to the Kenny Wayne Shepherd Band. So you're in one of these moments, you run out, you purchase some form of an Octavia pedal, you bring it home expecting creamy richness, and instead you get... Now, not to say that that was terrible, but it just was not what you were expecting. You wanted smooth and creamy with just a touch of those upper octave harmonics. Something a little more like this. So how to morph a raggedy sounding Octavia and turn it into something more like what we just heard is what today's video is all about. And really, the secret comes down to gain stacking. Stacking is, rather than having one massive overdrive try to take on the entire job, you take one or multiple overdrives and put them into each other to make things sound thicker and fuller. Now, uh, really, I do this with all of my light to medium overdrives and when I'm using a fuzz face, so it makes sense that I could try this with an Octavia as well. Let's walk through my process step by step. Now, all of our stomp boxes today are going to be coming from the Line 6 Helix, but I will be using their real world names just for ease of use. Let's go ahead and start by listening to our clean tone. The Octavia on its own with that core tone is exactly what you heard at the very beginning of this video. Now often when I'm using a fuzz face, I'll take a king of tone, set pretty mild, and stack it in after the fuzz, just to try and smooth things out a little bit. Let's go ahead and try that with the Octavia. Now that's not too bad, but really I want to round this out even more. I'm going to have to be a little bit more extreme in my gain stacking here than I normally am. For that, I'm going to be adding in a tube screamer just after the KOT. Now, uh, the TS is a soft clipping overdrive with a very pronounced mid hump. And normally when I'm using them, I set the gain fairly low. I really just want that little boost and EQ curve. But in this case, I have the gain set fairly high because I just want to add a little bit extra richness to this tone. Strangely enough, in isolation, it's very clear that that sound is pretty compressed, even way more so than what I would normally consider usable. But perhaps it's because of those upper octave harmonics pushing through, but this tone sits pretty well in a full band mix. 
The jam that you heard earlier was this sound with a little bit of delay and some upper EQ boosting on top to make it sit just that much better. And I thought it sounded pretty good. So remember, if you're having trouble with octave fuzz, don't be afraid to try experimenting with gain stacking. And go ahead and even go a little bit more so with everything than what you normally would do. Anyway, that's the video for today. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please go ahead and drop a comment below and tap that like button on your way out. I'd really appreciate it. I've been Joey. There's going to be more great videos coming up soon. So until next time, thanks so much and take care.